going to try forging the damage steel. Um, I've let the forge start to come up with temperature. I've pre-cut my bars already. And I want to make sure I'm working within a fairly narrow range. I'm going to set the camera up to just kind of watch um, with the time lapse. Um, I'm going to start by forging these three little chunks and make some paring knives. Partly that's because these are waste and if I screw it up, I'm not really worried about it as much. Um, but also because it'll kind of give me a chance to practice uh, being in the right temperature ranges. Um, this stuff wants to be between probably about uh, 20, I think it's 2150 to like uh, 1875 or 1800. Um, basically what that means, it wants to be like yellow down to like bright, bright orange, not much below that. You can get away with straightening in the reds um, and doing a lot of the stuff you can get away with in carbon steel almost into the blacks. But it will start to harden, it'll turn over to hardened sight um, at about, uh, well, It'll start, to, it'll start to develop cracking. I don't know if it actually turns hard side. Um, at around like 1500 or so. Uh, I try to keep this stuff as hot as I possibly can while I'm working it, because it is so very stiff. So you'll see me take a lot more heat and go a lot slower than I normally would um, if this was carbon steel. The other thing is it has quite a bit of chromium. Now, chromium can cause issues in forging, and one of the things I've found with other stainlesses that I felt found true with this, is you want to let it break down a little bit. So you want to hold it at temperature before you start working it. Just a minute or so. You don't have to leave it in for an hour. But let the porch come up to temp, throw this in, let it come up to temp, and sit there for a minute before you start forging it. Otherwise, it'll tend to shear and split a little bit more readily. Um, I'm always tempted to put more than one in the fire and work them, but i found that that tends to, unless I'm using the power hammer, I just wear myself out without being able to get any extra work done. So with that said, uh, we'll get started.